Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this power problem involving root from here? Let what is inside here be a letter. So let x be equals to root 7 minus 1 over 2. And from here, we can cross multiply. And uh, to multiply x, we have 2x. Then root 7 minus 1 times 1 is still root 7 minus 1. And from what we have here, let's take minus 1 here become plus, and we have 2x plus 1 now equals to root 7. And to get rid of this root here, we can introduce square on both sides. We have square this side and also square this side. And the expansion from here follows when we have a plus b squared which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. It implies that we have 2x squared then plus 2 times 2x times 1 then plus 1 squared which is 1 then equals to a square cancel square root and that's 7. And from here so this square affects 2 and x so we have 4x squared here then plus here we have 4x then plus 1 let's take 7 here become minus 7 now equals to 0 from here and here this same thing as 4x square plus 4x then minus 6 equals to 0 from here now we can leave this 4x square here then take 4x and minus 6 to that side here minus become plus that 6 then minus 4x and we can also reduce this line because here we can divide through by 2 then here reduce to 2x square which is equals to here we have 3 minus 2x if you are enjoying this class give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you now from here what we have in this line we can work from there since we have represented what we have inside here as x then it implies that what we are finding now will simply be x raised to power 7 now to get x raised to power 7 now we can walk from this line here and uh, first let's square both sides so we have 2 x square square equals to 3 minus 2 x or square then when we saw from here this power we affect 2 that's 4 we affect x square that will be x raised to power 4 now which is equals to this expansion becomes 3 square minus 2 times 3 times 2x then plus 2x all squared and when we solve this we have 4x raised to power 4 now equals to 3 square that's 9 then minus 2 times 3 times 2 here give us 12x then plus here we have 4x square this power we affect 2 and x then we can recall here in this line that 4x square is the same thing as 6 minus 4x so when we substitute here as 6 minus 4x this becomes 4x raised to power 4 now equals to 9 minus 12x then plus 6 minus 4x here then let's add the like terms 9 plus 6 that's 15 then minus 12x minus 4x we have minus 16x so here we have 4x raised to power 4 now equals to 15 minus 16x from here then we can as well take the square on both sides again. So we square this side, we have 4x raised to power 4 squared. Now equals to, here we have 15 
minus 16x all squared. Then here, this power we have fact 4, that's 4 squared, making 16. Then here, this power multiplies, we have x raised to power 8. Now equals to here, the expansion here becomes 15 squared minus 2 times 15 times 16x then plus 16x all squared. And when we solve this from here, this same as 16x is to power 8. Now equals to 15 squared gives us 2. 25 then minus 2 times 15 times 16 x we have 480 x from there then we have here yeah, this square will affect 16 that's 256 then we have x square and from here since we are interested in finding x raised to power 7, this power, we can reduce it and divide everything by x. So divide through by x from here. And uh, this will become 16x raised to power 7 equals to here we have 225 over x here. Then minus divide here by x, we have 480 less. Then plus also divide this by x, we have 256x left here. And we should recall that we have represented x as root 7 minus 1 over 2. Now we can substitute that value of x here on this side. Then here it implies that we have 16 x raised to power 7 now equals to 225 divided by root 7 minus 1 over 2 and minus 480 here then plus also we have 256 multiplied by root 7 minus 1 over 2 here and uh, from what we have here, this fraction here, 2 we multiply 225, and that will give us 450 from there. So we have 16x raised to power 7 equals to 450. Now divide by, we have root 7 minus 1 left, then minus 480 plus here, 2, we go in 256, we have 120. It there so that give up plus 128 into bracket with 7 minus 1 left here then from here we can simplify further by rationalizing this multiplying by the conjugate of this sort and this gives us 16 x raised to power 7 equals to 450 multiplied by root 7 plus 1 here and also divided by root 7 minus 1. Now multiply by root 7 plus 1. Then minus here we have 480. Then plus here when we open this bracket we have 128 root 7. Then minus 128 from here. When 128 open this bracket. Then from what we have here. 450 we open this bracket so we have 16 x raised to power 7 now equals to 450 root 7 then plus 450 then over here these are conjugate sort and this is root 7 square minus 1 square root 7 square that's 7 then minus 1 square that's minus 1 7 minus 1 that will be 6 then here minus 480 minus 128 there we bring it together and that gives us minus 6 or an 8 from there then plus 128 root 7 from here 
and from here we can as well write cell minus one here as six directly and here when we separate this fraction six we go in each of this number and here we have 16 x raised to power 7 we now be equals to here we remain 75 root 7 then plus 75 then minus 6 8 then plus 128 root 7 and when we add the like terms from here 75 root 7 plus 128 root 7 give us 203 root 7 so we have 16 x raised to power 7 here equals to 203 root 7 then what we have left here 75 minus 608 give us minus 533 from there then since we are interested in x raised to power 7 divide through by 16 here then it implies that here we are left with x raised to power 7 now equals to 203 root 7 over 16 here then minus 533 over 16 here and which here we have the final answer to our given problem so thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe to my channel for more videos and see you next class bye for now